Look at that. Chris, here, just here. Oh. Oh, he looks like a ghost. Have you ever lost a child to spirit? We seal this room is love and light. Oh, God. God. To keep the children safe day and night. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Oh, God. Can we just break him a minute? Oh, okay. In Ontario, Canada, lies the city of Guelph. Here, a modern building has some very ancient visitors. Homeowner Chris has good cause for concern. I get a feeling of um, a very uncomfortable feeling going into my daughter's room, which shouldn't be the case because you go in there, it's all bright pink princessy. Chris's wife Amanda has discovered that their daughter Alana has experienced some worrying visitations. Alana said to me that there was a man who watched her sleep at night. And I said, oh, honey, I, th I think you must have been dreaming. And, and she says, no, mommy, I wasn't dreaming. There's a man who stands right by my closet and watches me sleep. He looks like a shadow or something, or he looks like a ghost. And I said, so do you your friend? Does he have a name? Oh, yes, his name's Mr. Jenkins. Oh, I get probably kind of scared. The rescue Ooh. mediums are on their way to investigate. Bobby. Yeah. Well, I wonder what the weather's going to be like today. <laughs> Snowy. Snowy. Christine Hamlet and Jackie Dennison are internationally renowned psychics who spend their days and nights shepherding wayward spirits. And there's not a moment to lose because Alana's brother Zachary has also encountered a disturbing presence. One night my dad was snuggling with me and my sister. And over here in the attic, it was going boom, boom, boom. The rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Boy, it's a desolate place, isn't oh. it? Even the name of the city has been kept secret until now. It's very oh. pretty, but it's damn cold. <laughs> But several days earlier, they did have some intriguing premonitions. A strong presence of a male in spirit. Now, I feel very uneasy about this spirit, uh, very apprehensive, and it, there's not a very nice feeling with it. So um, I don't know what we're going to encounter when we get there. You could just feel somebody stand here and stare at you. And it's not a nice stare. It, they're just watching. And I have a very hard time going to sleep. Man in spirit, seen sometimes as a shadow. Mm. He has a black, dark look about him, mind-wise. In addition to their written premonitions, the rescue mediums have created psychic drawings of what they expect to encounter during their investigation. You know, if you look in the eyes yes. there, it's a, a strange look. Mm. In the eyes. It is. I've got a very uneasy feeling. Armed with their premonitions, Jackie and Christine approach the troubled residents. Inside, the homeowners eagerly await their arrival. I notice my wife's discomfort with things in the house. I especially notice my children's discomfort. That is the sort of thing I would like the rescue mediums to help with. I just want to get back to normal living and to have my kids be well adjusted and sleep well and feel comfortable in their own home. And we're really anxious to have that happen. This will be the first time Jackie and Christine have met homeowners Chris and Amanda and their Hi. kids. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello again. Hi. 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 Chris. I'm Chris. Oh, I'm Chris. Good night, Mom. You're married, isn't it? Hello. Is... Hi. How are you? Hi, Zachary. Okay. Hi. That's a good <laughs> handshake. You should... So it goes through then. Sure. Yeah. Oh, look at the kitten. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
the rescue mediums sit down to discuss their premonitions. Coats here. Okay. okay. Sent the kids upstairs so we can have a quiet visit. All right. <laughs> How long have you actually lived here? Uh, just over a year. And bed shaking? Mm, <laughs> yes. Often my daughters complain that Atalanta has, and I've had some problems in my room. Okay. Drawers opening. All the, the time. All the time. Uh, a man in spirit seen sometimes as a shadow that changes. Yes. It's sometimes seen by a door. Yes? Yes. Absolutely yes. Okay. Laughing heard. Yes. Are you all right? Yeah. 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 I just got chills up my back because okay. that's very, very accurate. The rescue mediums begin their investigation on the uppermost floor of the house, where Zachary's bedroom is located. All right. <laughs> You've done exactly the same as what I've just done then. What? You walked and then stopped. Uh, so I would have seen something there. Or been there and seen something here. Do you feel chilly? Yeah, I do. Jackie and Christine sense a spiritual chill. I can um, hear breathing, you know, laboured breathing. Like... <sighs> the icy atmosphere stays with the rescue mediums as they continue their investigation. Yeah, it's a funny sort of cold, isn't it, this? It's, yes. Uh, not an actual cold. Should we go in here? Yes. The rescue mediums enter Alana's bedroom. Oh. I don't feel quite so cold here, though. I love this room. I love yeah, these dolls. Yeah. <laughs> The psychic energy in Alana's room feels non-threatening. But as they leave the bedroom, the malevolent spirit from earlier follows them. I tell you what, he's still with us because I am absolutely freezing on one side. I can feel him moving around. feeling very drained. Oh, so am I. Very, very drained. In fact, I'm feeling so drained, I'm going to put extra protection around because this is like vroom. As Jackie attempts to summon extra protection, something happens to the cameras. Oh, I, have, I have, I'm terribly sorry. I have no idea how, uh, but I'm not recording. The video signal has been lost. Somebody switched it off. They, they've switched it off. He's switched it off. 